Welcome to Fallout London. I'm actually in London right now. I've just moved back here and today we're checking out the first 20 minutes of gameplay from Fallout London. Now this is a fan-made mod project that's been going on since 2019 but the professionalism of this project compares to an actual AAA video game. So any support you can give this video by pushing out to your friends and letting them know about this project massively supports the guys behind works we're about to look at today. And I'm so thankful this modding community exists because Bethesda have just delayed Starfield until 2023, which means The Elder Scrolls 6 is probably even further away than we'd first envisioned, and Fallout 5 hasn't even been mentioned. So Fallout London, probably going to be the next Fallout game we all play. Let's start out by watching the trailer, then we'll jump into the gameplay. Oh, a classic start. I'm going to mute this for copyright reasons, but very Fallout. But in starting in a London bus, and it's actually the newer model of the London bus by the looks of it, with the curved back. So this has happened after the Olympics. And we're on London Bridge. Beautiful. Wow. London. 2237. They always said the sun had never set on the Empire. But now, most of old Blighty is a shell of his former self. Bodged together buildings, radiation filled nightmares, hooligans up for a bit of argy bargy. Or whatever the bloody hell those things in Tempshaven are, if you know what I mean. In fact, the closest semblance of structure we got is the Daft and Barmy boys over in Lambeth. Only they won't budge except for a couple of rows in there. So in a nutshell, it's all a bit Tom Tits these days. Listen, the whole of Blighty is up for grabs right now. Nobody's heard from Her Majesty for ages, and frankly, people are cream cracking hearing the gentry's orders from behind their walls. Especially when tunnel coughs out there making things go bump in the night. Moving tubes. Very cool. So all's to play for. Each wanker out there wants a part of the pie. The question is, who will it be? The last vagabonds of London's gutter? The fascist pamphleteers in the fifth column? Or the Camelot Knights of days past, okay. heading once more unto the bridge? just need to open your eyes and have a butcher's me, old China. The sun's about to set on this hallowed land. I'll let you into a little secret, though. Whilst the location might have changed, war... <laughs> war never changes. I mean, the voice acting is up here. Let's check out the gameplay. That trailer was published in 2021, but this was published just yesterday, so I'm very <laughs> excited to see what we're now looking at with the actual gameplay from the Fallout team. I'm leaving the subtitles on for the accents because not everyone's from the East London. <laughs> not everyone speaks like my dad. <laughs> oh, they've got the tube loading symbol on the bottom there. Awesome. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities. The will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. So Voltec was in the UK. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march. 
all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of Days Past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Concept because in mankind's stunning. pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. Very well done. Good intro. Sets the scene of all the different factions in this world. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. test tube oh okay so now we get to design our character just gonna immediately confirm cool like the concept so far interesting start a rapid progress is being made of course now what about their physical and mental development okay now we get to choose oh my god they've redone all the perks I'm even drinking tea right now because uh, I am British myself, obviously. Look at that. Strength is a measure of. Yeah, look. <laughs> Very good. Endurance. So they got rid of Vault Boy, which is interesting. And they just replaced it with their own character. Intellect. Intelligence one, we love it. We love it. Yeah, max out the luck now. Great. Oh, okay, we got all these perks. Acrobatics, chemhead, claustrophobic. Oh, this is interesting. We're certainly not blind to face one perception more. Gifted, yeah, cool. Heavy handed. All the classics. Order. <laughs> Order. Of course. Who's this? I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. cinematic intros like this. They take so long to do, but they're so cool. Broken Angel, escape the facility. Oh, nice. 
very cool. Gotta loot their bodies though. We're in an underground bunker somewhere. You know one of the things when they're building um, tubes in London, like new tube lines? Um, they'll go to, to people and ask going towards the gunfire. Well, they don't know where the secret bunkers are, so they'll just say, can we put a tube line here or here? And they'll just say yes or no, but without actually disclosing the location of where the bunkers are. Because some of them are still hidden. Looks like some pets or experimentation took place here on animals. This is open with a terminal. There's one. Classic crystal screen. Mission shipment. Unauthorized content detected. The red tree. Reset door. Ah, I wanted him to read the law. Oh no, the little rabbits have escaped. Rad trees. Oh, so rad trees. They had a document on that on the computers and. They're, they look like a new animal. Maybe they created them down here, or they're experimenting on them down here, I don't know. London is very well known for its rats. Apparently there are some absolute heifers running around the streets. And statistically, you're never more than a few meters from a rat at any time, on average. So this is what all the rats have become. I imagine London after an apocalypse could be like Plague Tale. It's just like the rats run rampant in the streets. Oh, there's a new logo. So what's this? A? Okay, this is our pit boy. Not attached to our arm though. I like the vibe. Just like a little Pokedex. I really want to play this myself. <laughs> that really doesn't help, apparently. We love the reference, though, boys. Well done. Okay, third person. Does still exist. I prefer first person myself. It's got no power. The bloody thing won't budge. You're nothing, Johnny. You won't use this in a fucking clock. Winston, you have a damn good boss. Ah, yes, no power. I can remove it from the main network. But look now on the camera. Right outside, look. It may one of the floors. I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the long way. Rerouting to emergency power. They have intentionally saved us. And we are underground, he's just confirmed. So one of these factions has broken us out of whatever scientific cell this is. Fourth power restored. Oh, you got a torch, nice. Is that on? Oh, it was attached to our belt, I think. Interesting. Instead of the pit boy that just illuminates you in a circle, we have a directional light, which is a lot more horror based, you know, when you can't see around the corner and stuff. I like that. Oh, hello, who was that? I doubt you'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. Warning! Warning! He's so calm. We're definitely going to see him again. Ooh, whoa. 
where are we going to come out now on the streets of London? We did see the tubes in the trailer. Maybe we'll come out of the tube station. <laughs> what is going on with that floor dial? I think we're going up. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far, guys. I really want to spread the word about Fallout London as a mod project. I think it's just an awesome concept. A location for a Fallout game. Damn, okay. Very Art Deco. Reminds me of Bioshock. You go Escaping all that hubbub, with all you've been through, I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. Ah, he was mentioned before and by the you? scientist. Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Now, I'm sure you have many questions, and perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I know for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe, and remember, mind the gap. <laughs> Mind the Gap is a thing in London, if you're not aware. Um, some of the tubes have quite a big gap when you leave them um, to step onto the platform. So they, al they always say Mind the Gap at every single stop. just becomes background noise if you're a Londoner, though. I assume this guy is the Puppet Master. He was quoted in the intro to the factions at the start. Yep, shopping trolley in the fountain, pretty standard. Nothing in this here, really. Just looks like um, the next day after a Friday night in London. We're in a tubes. Okay, so on London Bridge. Ah, so we're at the London Bridge tube station. Public subway. Ah, and they even had the escalators as well. The long escalators. Underground station. Nuclear attack. Take shelter in your nearest underground station. Oh god. I imagine there are a lot of ghouls in the underground. Just like in Fallout 3. I hated going into the underground passes. Absolutely terrifying. Just be darkness and you'd hear ghouls in the distance screeching at you. This place looks pretty chill though. Not even got a weapon yet. Quite amazing. This old chap didn't make it very far. They've really angry. Oh! Hello. <laughs> Yay! They've accurately got the pub. I wonder what um, pints they have on tap, though. I know there's some IPA lover out there who's modded that in. Happy birthday. That's the sign. ID card. Oh, we need one of the tube passes. Mate, come on, just hop over it. <laughs> He's still waiting there with his ticket. He actually had a vault -Tec lab coat on, though. Interesting. Ticket machine reader. Oh, beautiful little scan as well. But there's some working tube stations, which we saw in the trailer, which I'm really interested in. Oh, one sec, what's this? Bank packs can help you carry around more things when wandering in the wasteland. Ram and leather backpacks grant an additional 45 carry weight, while canvas backpacks or on an additional 60. Both can be found in London and modified at armor workbenches. It's really cool that they've included backpacks. I love those survival gameplay mechanics. I don't know if you'll be able to play in survival mode, but I assume they've worked it in. Who knows? 
So this is a tube. And we are at the overground station on London Bridge. It's quite a nice view when you leave the station. I mean, they've used the fallout parts. Mind the gap. Oh my god, I just... That beeping sound, which obviously the Mind the Gap so sound is re-recorded by the fallout scene, but the beeping sound, that just triggered me in the background like I was on the tube. That beeping sound every time the doors close, that's the one. Mind the Gap. <laughs> they've used that exact sound, well done. Even the sound of the tube. It's exactly... Oh, there's on the bridge, look. It's a lot further away in real life. You would, it doesn't look like that, but they've obviously condensed the city down. Kept a lot of the important, beautiful buildings. Really cool job. The sound of the tube is banging. Like, absolutely smashed it on the sound design. I hope we have the screeching of the railway um, in some of the, the, you know, like the circle line and whatnot. There's a canal boat as well for that. I can actually see Canary Wharf over there in the distance as well. I thought that was a fantastic intro to a game and now I'm just excited to delve into London and explore the depths and reaches of the city and engage with all these different factions that seem to be at play. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments because the dev team may even be setting up an interview or a Q&A. These guys are doing this for free as a passion project, so all of the community sharing their content is the only support they get. So really appreciate all your help in that regard. And thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited for this mod and I'll definitely be playing it here on the channel.